on me basis where I came from. I think that's probably all she knew to hurt me. She used to call me curry. She used to call me brownie. She used to say, go back to your country on the elephant you came on. And it got really... At 15, it got really hard for me. Sure. So I decided, you know, I want to go back to India and I went back home. And I feel like that's when destiny played its game. My mum randomly sent photos without telling me to Miss India. I didn't know. I just thought that they called me because I was discovered. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> teenage egos. <laughs> <laughs> but, and then um, it, it gave me a sense of confidence that I could walk onto the stage, speak the way I speak, and I've been raised to be an opinionated girl. My parents always told me, if you have an opinion, don't be afraid to share it. And that's all I did. I didn't know how to walk on heels. I tripped on my sari backstage five times. And then I was in like these velvet pants with boots on and then I tripped on it again. <laughs> I knew it would happen to me on stage. I still have PTSD about it. But, but I'm just saying like it, it gave me a sense of the fact that my personality and the way I speak and my confidence is what won me that crown made me feel like confidence is your best accessory. 